Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling page. Today we're going to be using some Scrap FX products and exploring some shading of faces. So I'm starting in my Use It Up journal and you can see I've got quite a mess in the background but I thought it'd be perfect for doing a big focal image. So I'm just going in with some of the new Scrap FX stamps. This is the woven muslin I think and just stamping over my um, background with my archival ink. I've also got these really cool circle stamps which I've actually cut apart just for ease of use. You get four of the um, Circles and Maze ones a different set. Um, <clears throat> but I've actually cut them all apart which you can do with these really foam stamps just to make them more accessible to you. Um, so do what you like <laughs> but uh, that's how I um, chose to do it. So you get four, four stamps for the price of one. I'm using um, the Jane Davenport Squid Ink. It's one of the whiter ink pads that I've got. And again, you can sort of see it comes up quite well over the background. So I'm using as my large focal image, a image from a new Scrap FX image. This is from Tanya Freud. And she's done these gorgeous sketchy ladies. And they're quite different, <coughs> excuse me, from other sketched faces on the market. So they're a little bit finer. Um, a little bit more cartoon-like, I suppose, um, but they've got beautiful, um, wistful, I suppose, faces, and um, they look a little bit dreamy, which I really love about them. So I'm just using gel medium to glue them down. You can see it goes translucent, and then it sort of gets some opacity back. That's okay, because I'm going to be painting over the top of them. It also helps to blot out the black in the background, so I did put that image on that page deliberately, because I knew it would do that. To shade my face, I'm going in with some of the scribble sticks and I'm going in with my darker shadings first. Now, I don't shade in faces um, authentically. <laughs> I use weird colours like purples and pinks and blues. Um, but it's sort of, um, if you choose your colours from a dark, a medium and a light, it will work. <clears throat> They can be sort of the same shades or different shades, but you're using that darker medium or light to, to tell a story. So you can see I'm going back in with a, a lighter pink and sort of blending it all together. <clears throat> Where it's slightly darker, so sort of the edges of the nose, just under the eyes, um, put some darks back in there where it's lighter with the lights hitting it. So the top of the eyes and so on, you're going back in and putting some light marks in. If you would like some expert tuition on um, shading faces, I would highly suggest going to watch some makeup tutorials because it is, it's painting a face. So I'm not a, a make, well, I love makeup, but I am um, don't do all the sort of contouring and highlighting. So those are the sort of videos you want to see. Um, <clears throat> where, where the makeup artist contours, that's where you want to put your darker shades. Where they highlight, that's where you want to put your lighter shades. And you will get a really great result um, after watching a few of them, you'll get a really good idea of what works and what doesn't. Particularly if you're trying to do different um, skin tones, have a look at sort of the foundations and what they're using and what the colour bases are too. So that would be really handy um, when you're looking at it. The final thing I'm going in and doing is using the sketchy lines that Tony's already drawn and I'm going back over with Stabilo or pencil. The reason for that is because the scribble sticks are um, semi-opaque, where I've drawn over the lines I um, want to make sure that they're visible again so I'm just going in and just darkening up some of those areas. The scribble sticks and the Stabilo oil pencil are water reactive. I've chosen not to react them um, so it's fine they're on the page. You could put a wet paintbrush over the top and make them more watercolour. You do need to be aware though if you are using those products and you put something wet over the top that they can react and you'll see why I tell you that in just a moment. So <clears throat> I decided I want to have a um, quote on my page and I've got this beautiful silhouette which again comes with scrub effects. Um, I'm not perfect, just awesome, which I really liked. On the left hand side you will see there's a transparency there. This is one of the newer art um, transparencies from scrap effects this is what I'm talking about on the left hand right hand side sorry I'm just putting a little bit of matte gel medium down and sticking down the word hope 
I needed to be really careful when I was sticking that down because obviously I was putting something wet over the Stabilo Oil pencil and the scribble stick. Now it looks very dark there. When you actually see it in real life, it hasn't smudged out that much, but <clears throat> it could have quite easily been a very black mess underneath there. I used the um, matte gel medium to glue down the transparencies and that glues them down really nicely. It also gives the finished piece a matte look so you don't get that shine when you are looking at your book. You don't have something really shiny in your face and it sort of fits in with everything else. So that is my very quick page in my Use It Up journal using the beautiful sketchy ladies from Tanya Freud. If there's anything in here that you saw me using that you would like to use in your own project, projects please check out my description box below and I'll have the links to both the wholesale and the retail um, <clears throat> where ways to contact or purchase ScrapFX products. Thank you so much for watching until next time bye for now.